court adjoins IPOB's leader's 1 billion naira suit against Nigerian government, DSS. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back-to-back -back updates and information as it is hot. In case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one. Collect them. Let's go down to the news proper as court has adjoined IPOB's leader, Nambi Kano's 1 billion naira suit against Nigerian government and DSS. A federal high court sitting in Abuja has adjourned hearing on a fresh 1 billion suit filed by the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Nam the Kano against President Bola Tinubu led Nigerian government till March 4th. Justice James Omotosho on Monday adjourned the case following the absence of counsel for Kano in court. It was reported that when the case was called, Kano, the applicant, was not represented in court while the defendant's lawyer were in court. Recall that Kano through his lawyer, Barrister Alloy Ejimako, had filed the letter suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 1C slash 1633 slash 2023 for the enforcement of the IPOB leader's fundamental rights while in detention in the Department of the State Service DSS. Kano in the origin is in the originating motion dated and filed before the court on December 4, 2023, listed the Federal Government of Nigeria, the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, State Security Service, SSS, and its Director General as first to fault the respondents. The IPO bill has said that the suit was filed pursuant to other two rules. One, and two of the Fundamental Rights Enforcement Procedure, Procedure Rules 2009, among others. In the suit, can sought a declaration that the Respondent Act of Forcible Seizure and Photocopying of Confidential Legal Documents pertaining to facilitating the preparation of his defense which were brought to him at the Respondent's detention facility by his lawyers, amounted to denial of his right to be defended by a legal practitioner of his own choice. He further sought a declaration that the respondent act of refusing or preventing his counsel from taking note of details of counsel professional discussion consultation with him as SSS detention with said discussion slash consultation relating to preparation of his defense amounted to denial of his right to be given adequate facilities for the preparation of his defense by a legal practitioner of his own choice. The IPO builder also sought a declaration that the Respondent Act of ever dropping on his confidential consultation conversation with his lawyer on matters relating to the preparation of his defense during the lawyer's visitation amounted to denial of applicant's right to be given adequate facilities for the preparation of his defense and to be defended by a legal practitioner of his own choice. He described the acts as illegal, unlawful, unconstitutional, and constituted an infringement of his fundamental rights to fair hearing as enshrined and guaranteed under Section 30 C, bracket C, bracket B, and bracket C of the 1999 Constitution as amended, and Article 7, bracket 1, bracket C, of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Kano, therefore, sought an order of injunction restraining and prohibiting the respondent from their act of possible seizure and photocopying of confidential legal documents brought to him at detention facilities by his lawyers. My people, I don't see how they happen. This one are the one where they Morocco now. <laughs> uh, he gets to waiting children, they sing for song, they say Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. Boroko, Boroko, Boroko. Oh, say, Loco, courts don't adjourn case uh, where we say Mazina, they cannot file uh, that suit. Mazina, they cannot, they demand for one billion 
uh, from the federal government and the DSS for infringement of his fundamental rights. And according to him, uh, they say that uh, what they did to him uh, is against plenty, plenty, plenty uh, uh, charter. He say if you go for the, uh, he's described as the act. He described the act as illegal, uh, and unlawful, unlawful, unconstitutional, and constituted an infringement of his fundamental right to a fair hearing as enshrined and guaranteed under Section 36, bracket B and C of the 1999 Constitution, as amended and Article 7, bracket 1 C of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. This is where Mazina the Canos Council is quoting from uh, that his right has been infringed uh, by the DSS, you know, uh, stopping him from, you know, having a fair hearing of his council, uh, having even the DSS go to the extent of having uh, access to his personal legal properties of which they are not supposed to go into and to him he said that that is infringement of his human rights and he quoted the amended 1999 constitution and also he quoted the african um also he quoted the african charter on human and people's rights so this is what is going on but the matter will happen that Monday, we say, as they get to court, Mazin and the Lacanus lawyer know they there. <laughs> they ask why. Ejimako, why? Ejimako, why? Ejimako, why? What happened? And the the defend, uh, the, the counsel of the, resp uh, the defendants were there. And Mazin and the Canon and his counsel are supposed to be the respondents. And they were not there in court. And because of that, uh, Justice Omotosho has adjourned that case to the 4th of March. Of course, you see January, February, March, that should be next two months will be another time that this case will be called up in court. And um, I think um, Aloy Ejimako, who is the counsel of Mazin Nandikano, should uh, give uh, the people the reason uh, why he was not there in court that day. Uh, is it because of money? Is it because of inconveniences? Why was he not in court on that particular day? Because he was supposed to be in court on that particular day to defend his client. But um, I don't know. I think um, it will be best that we hear from Edge Marco and I will be waiting for him. And once he dropped the reason why he was not able to be in court on that fateful day, I will also relate that to you remember that the the led, uh, president nubu led administration has suspended uh, one of the ministers uh, he has been she has been suspended because of some kepu kepu i don't bring you that information before where they say they, they look for that 7.1 billion uh, will be say one people corner for their uh, uh will be say one people corner for their Bag, they say the name of the minister na edu uh, na in the suspend but i see the b made they do the investigation uh, but the question we say about a loot about a loot or gabo harry bring them back but we don't know where the money day <laughs> uh, nigeria una the trial uh na down nigeria nine monkey con carry money the same nigeria nine snacks swallow money uh, the same Nigeria, plenty of things they happen very soon. One day they go tell us, say, <laughs> say, uh, river, uh, don't come for Abuja, swallow as a rock. And I saw it go be one day. <laughs> they go they look for as a rock, they go say, river, river, Niger come from uh, on a go as a rock, go there, go swallow as a rock. You go be waiting to happen one day. And you know, go surprise you say, we go hear that kind of news because we don't they hear all kinds of news for Niger and we they collect them. Uh, waiting man, we know the government go do. Now once they tell us, we go laugh. We know say uh, they don't chop us. <laughs> you get one comedy like that. The guy they will uh, they raise up in hand and waiting that mean that thing mean be say you don't catch me, you don't catch me. I wish Nigerian government go they tell us say we don't catch them. We go they know uh, where we go they follow they patch the bag because uh, as NIB, NIGB now uh, it be like a bag where they patch. If they patch them, it go come out. And Jesus, in his wisdom, say, How can you patch a old cloth with a new one? He said, The cloth got here. <laughs> uh, so, 
Uh, what do they do for Naija? They say that they use the old clothes, they patch new Naija. Meanwhile, remember, we are there for the 21st century. The only way Nigeria will be good is that all the politicians will resign and say that they have resigned and they will put young, young people that knows what is happening. And that's how Nigeria is going to be better. Yes, if you think that uh, Obodo cannot be better, Obodo can be better. And um, the, the reason why Ndibo themselves are fighting for marginalization is because Obodarema, Obodarema, my brother. You know Obodarema, nobody go, they say they, go, they won't go. But economy bad. People are being marginalized. You cannot get into the political office without doing one thing or the other. The position is not free. You have to pay for it. People pay for it to get it. That's just it. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one to collect them. All right, thank you for listening. God bless you.